Hello and happy Friday! I hope you're ready to get some cleaning and organizing done. I'm also going to be showing you my Black Lion grocery shopping haul. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. My name is Yelena and I'm a stay-at-home mom. I do a lot of clean and organized videos. So I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, stick around and watch some videos. I have a whole cleaning playlist and you guys can get some great cleaning motivation. So yeah, today I'm organizing and cleaning my fridge and freezer. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And since we're moving out of this house in just a few short weeks, I wanted to get that done today. So I don't have as much cleaning to do when we are actually moving out or on the day of the move out. So I hope you guys are clean with me. If you've been wanting to clean something out and you've just been not doing it for a while this is the perfect timing we're gonna listen to some music and really just clean and organize okay so this is everything that i got from black lion it was all under a hundred dollars so i feel like it was a pretty good deal so i got grayson some whole milk some goldfish veggie crackers already opened them at the store got these um we've never tried these ones but they're plant-based burger patties they really look good i got some tomatoes i got an avocado their avocados are really cheap there they were only like 85 cents i think so a really good deal got some turkey meat for nachos tonight got matt some bagel bites got a couple apples blackberries raspberries got these extra toasty che um, cheese it's really good and then we like these for grace and chicken breast strips they're just the no antibiotics ones purdue ones are really good and then i got my favorite cream cheese this is the spicy jalapeno and then i also got the regular for matt and then i got some cute strawberry sparkling waters these cheese it snapped I don't really like these, but my hubby does. I got these chips that are our favorite for um, the nachos. And then some baked goldfish. I actually think this was in the car. I don't think I got it this time. And then I got some carrots, some mushrooms. Got this, two things of this cheese for sandwiches. And then also some honey smoked turkey breast. I like to make sandwiches during the day. Got this spring mix for my salads. It looked really fresh and really good. And then a cucumber. And I got some celery to put in my salads and just to snack on. And then favorite bagels. Some bananas. Grace some snacks. Got some pinto beans and then got some of this Progresso, Progresso soup that looked really good. Got that one and then I got the chicken noodle and then I got some beans. So I got quite a bit of stuff for under $100. I don't ever really go there so this was like my first time but I was kind of impressed because it's pretty cheap and you save a lot of money so... Yeah, that's all I got for now. I'm sure I'll have to go again for some more stuff, but this is just all I got. So onto my fridge. I actually don't have like a huge disaster fridge. I've seen uh, way worse fridges that were just completely messy and dirty. And honestly, mine is not bad. I just really like to go through everything and check expiration dates and throw away just leftovers that have been in there for way too long and just really organize the fridge and also just clean out the shelves 
and I just use um, hot water and dish soap to clean everything out and it really just gets all the little dirt and oils off the shelves so yeah I just like to kind of take everything out and just start organizing everything and uh, that's pretty much it she felt the same and I make this soup if I gather
I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I say
to you guys that I like to keep baking soda just an open box of it in my freezer and fridge if you guys didn't know this hack already but baking soda absorbs any odors in your fridge and freezer so it really makes everything smell a lot more fresh and you should replace it every few months just because it kind of gets bad after a while and so yeah so here that's what I'm doing and then also I like to have rubber bands around like in my kitchen I like to just use that on any frozen foods that are opened and it's just a lot easier to keep everything kind of closed so that's what I was doing there with my coffees and any like frozen vegetables and stuff so it's not all open and then also I like to take the tops off the boxes of the foods just so it's easier to grab stuff and you don't have to like mess with having to open it all the time so that's what I was doing there too but yeah that is pretty much it for my uh, freezer and fridge clean out I hope you guys got some great cleaning motivation let me know down below what you were working on today and what cleaning you got done today I hope you guys have an amazing Friday and I hope you were able to get a bunch of stuff done with me or a bunch of cleaning done with me but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.